Good evening. Happening now, authorities on South Padre Island are preparing for the first wave of spring breakers. Channel 5's Tracen Bragg spoke to the police chief to find out what new safety measures are being put in place. He joins us live from South Padre Island with the latest. Tracen. Dina, the police chief, tells us that over the next several weeks, over 60,000 people will be crossing the bridge you see behind me headed here onto the island. He says his department is taking some extra steps to help keep everyone on the island safe. Scooter Nix just arrived to the island with some friends. He tells us he's here to work and party for the next month. I know that we hold safety as a concern uh, when we're out having a good time, and all that we can hope is that everyone that we're around uh, has the same idea. South Padre Island Police Chief Randy Smith says it's his job to keep all spring breakers safe. He tells us new tech will help that cause. Officers are now trained to use three high-flying drones. Also use it around crowds where there could be a problematic issue. Uh, the camera zooms in relatively far. It's a very Chief Randy Smith says the drones can also come in handy while looking for a missing person in one of the hard-to-reach locations here on the island. And it's kind of rough and tough to get through with tall salt grass, mosquitoes, and whatever else may lurk in there. So it's nice to be able to fly a drone over and be able to clear that area. Their drone training just wrapped up last July. The department purchased the drones in 2016. Smith tells us officers are also placing wireless cameras in pre-designated problem areas. The good thing about them is with very little work, we can move them if we need to. So if we start finding that there's another place that's more problematic and they, the cameras are better service, with a little bit of IT's time, we can uh, readjust and move those. He adds his department will be on the hunt for big parties on social media just like the Spring Breakers. Maybe a big house party that's going to have multiple violations in advance and maybe we could shut it down before it even becomes an issue. Smith says other departments across the valley will also be sending officers to help out during busy weeks. Nick says he's ready to have a great month. Now, the chief asks spring breakers to do your part. He recommends staying with friends at all times, especially after having several drinks. Another feature that island officials are using will help keep some criminals off the island. We're still gathering that story for you, and we'll bring it to you at Channel 5 News at 1030 on Channel 5.2. On South Padre Island, I'm Trayson Bragg, Channel 5 News at 10.